What is going on people? So it is currently Wednesday, AKA hump day. Oatmeal is in the microwave right now. Now it's not in the microwave. Today I'm gonna be going into bench and uh, last week I hit 215, did I hit 215? Yeah, I think I, yeah, 215 for three. So we're gonna see how that goes today. I got with a small little ride. Um, had a minor amount of caffeine in my system this morning, but I feel, fuck, got that in my oatmeal, damn it. <laughs> I feel on it today. So I'm, uh, I'm hoping that my strength's gonna be there. Usually, I mean, I've hit numerous strength PRs, um, even after long, longer bike rides. So bike riding before I lift never really is a factor if you're new to the channel. But those of you who aren't new to the channel will know that. Pretty stoked about today. I don't know, just kind of feeling good. Yeah, it, I, I mean, I don't really know if I'm aware of this headband today. I'm not really feeling it today. But. <laughs> yeah, and I, I really can't stress enough guys. I pretty much eat the same thing every single day If I do get a meal in during the day, it's definitely going to be oatmeal because oatmeal is one of the most satiating things I can possibly eat and then for dinner vegetables and some sort of lean protein source and then uh, my cereal before I go to sleep That is my every single that's my diet every single day See you guys at the gym Alrighty folks, so a little disappointing. Uh, 220 went up for a single, but I did not get two reps out of it. I did not get three reps out of it. And I stopped at the first set. Honestly, I could get really upset right now, but I'm a I'm actually not. Kind of just cruise through the rest of my workout. Not really gonna worry about it too much. I think I'm just overreaching on my bench press right now. And uh, while it's discouraging to see people that are like, you know, 30 pounds lighter than me benching like 80,000 pounds more than me, I realize that all this is relative. You know, I I'm, I'm just, I'm stoked on my other lifts, so. Uh, the bench has always been my weakest point. It's always been we my weakest lift. So I'm not really going to let that get me down. Right now, I'm just going to amp up my accessory work. So just do more tricep work, more close grip bench press, dips, all of that, just to kind of just get my triceps up because my arms are my second weakest point. They are the, probably the most unappealing part of my physique to be honest but uh yeah i'm not really gonna worry about it too much i did take about a thousand milligrams of tyrosine before i went to the gym today and i noticed i actually took my temperature before i left and it was at 98.7 it's the highest it's ever been in my entire life so i was fucking blown away like i walked into the gym just fucking just sweating like crazy like profusely so that was a newfound feeling i don't know how that really um that's just it i mean it was just different for me to feel that way so all right you guys so i am back from the store right now i'm gonna show you all what i got honestly really nothing new <laughs> i uh well actually one thing, one thing that's new i've got some baking cocoa and i'm trying out these triscuit thin crisps i think i've actually had these before but i haven't had them in a long time usually i try to get rice crackers or something that doesn't have as much fiber in it per serving but uh four grams per serving i guess isn't terrible but yeah and those really just taste delicious so uh fat-free diet cocoa mix, which is really good, and oatmeal and shakes and stuff. I got some cilantro because I'm gonna make a little recipe tonight. Keeper, pepper, whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> Madagascar vanilla, really good. Cauliflower, um, lettuce, and then I got some coconut milk. This stuff's really, really good. I got light coconut milk because this stuff has, re it's really heavy in fat. It's 40 calories for the light and then four grams of fat, so not too horrible if you get the light version. Some cottage cheese, fat-free. Uh, broccoli, cauliflower, more vegetables. All right, people, and in this bag right here, I got rice cakes and some corn checks at the store. These normally only buy cereal when it's on sale, but these weren't, and I love corn checks. But I love corn checks, I should say, and I, yeah. I don't know. Decided to get those. Some chicken, those were like $7.99 at the store, and then. <sighs> trying it. I've never actually had this brand before. If you're not, if you have no idea what this is, this is uh, it's vodka. Uh, and uh, I got some apple, apples going out of my bag, of course. Some pears. Uh, that's never going to die or get old. I always love my apples and my pears. And then we got some strawberry uh, sparkling water to go with that. And frozen vegetables, mushrooms. I'm going to do a little stir fry tonight. And then I got some apples, pears, all the usual stuff over there. Some sugar-free pudding mix for my shakes. I have been wanting to make my own, I guess, uh, let's just call it like a pickled 
concoction, like basically like a homemade probiotic. And I've seen some people do it, and I've seen that you can actually, well, you can actually pickle cabbage, and I really, really like cabbage. So tonight I'm gonna be trying out my own little concoction, apple cider vinegar. Um, this is uh, Himalayan sea salt. And I got, I don't know if uh, it not, being, not having iodide really makes a difference, but it said that on there. That was like $8 for that thing. And I bought some jars too, because I'm pretty sure in order to pickle something, you gotta put it in a jar, even though I'm probably wrong. So I got some of those. I'm gonna be trying out this little uh, mixture with that. I know you have to do water and all that. So that's it for the grocery haul, guys. I'll see you in the next part of the video. For the record, this recipe is supposed to be for broccoli, but I'm using cabbage instead. Same thing. Not really. Okay, add a little bit of water, maybe even a little bit less, and you're gonna put about three to six tablespoons of good quality so And two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I'm at a little bit more. Supposedly supposed to be completely submerged and I just realized I could have just done all this chopped the cabbage up and put it in here and then done this but I'm stupid The next day What's up? What's up? Yeah, 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 yeah I tried to ferment some vegetables. Okay, so so I'm gonna try the ones I think the ones in the fridge got a little bit more fermented even though they don't really look that promising I just I think they're supposed to like look different and more like acidic than this but I put it in a jar and I felt like a badass for making this, so I'm really actually kind of excited. Vinegar and some salt, and I tried to I tried to pickle this myself. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, dude, I'm so good. I get the next day. I do this. How many people do we got here? 98. That's pretty dope, man. But we're gonna be doing a little uh, secret little unboxing right now. Well, I would say probably about 5% of you are into fitness. You guys will understand. Well, not fitness, whole pizza in my mouth, but um, these are Versa Grips. They're really good for training. So first of all, this is from Emma O'Connor. She is a loyal subscriber of mine. Emma has purchased a Hungry Things shirt. She is with the Empire. I'm gonna read this off camera because I feel like that's all personal. Hershey's co Cookies and Cream Bar. Oh my goodness, I was, I, I was legitimately gonna get these at the store. That's crazy. So, Chips Ahoy. These are brownie filled Chips Ahoy soft cookies. Just the way that I like them. And then um, we have, these are the eight ounce cups. Now, I, I can't say that I'm, um, like I've never had this before because I've had them many times in, in videos and you know, we're just gonna do cheers to that right now. The next day. Alrighty guys, so it is Monday. It is time to go deadlift. I've just been editing for like the past three hours. Um, I'm actually feeling really good today. Um, usually Mondays are kind of just, eh, cause I take my, I take my ADHD medication on the weekend. Sundays, like coming off of the medication going into Monday, I kind of see usually like a little like 
bit of a drag in terms of like my energy and stuff but I'm feeling really really good today and I had some alcohol yesterday had some fun with my family and um, I don't know I don't know I, I I'm just glad that I'm, I'm feeling good so going to the gym today and I'm gonna try to hit 440 for three reps so we're gonna see how that goes I'm gonna get some food in like I usually do and head to the gym All right, guys so that's all done i <laughs> i can't believe i just did that i uh i'm feeling good today but i walked into the gym just kind of really almost scared in a sense because i wasn't really expecting to be able to to do what i just did 440 pounds i got it for three 420 for three 430 for three and then got that last set and um it kind of before i went into it i was actually thinking about like basically the beginning of this year and going into the gym and basically getting under the bar and failing week after week after week after week really i can't really explain the feeling that i feel now because i feel like i had to go through that to get to where i'm at right now it sounds really 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 overly cliche to say but it's true i will never be the guy that's the strongest in the gym i'm never going to be the guy that's built like a greek god and you know i'm never going to have all of the you know aesthetics of, of everything and a lot of you out there that just find these vlogs and you find my my channel you a lot of people that follow me don't really seem to understand that that's not what I buy into and that's not why I train. I just train simply to get stronger and that is all I really care about when I go into the gym and I lift heavy weight um, and that's why I try to achieve these arbitrary numbers because that makes me feel better about each week. And that's what makes me feel better about fitness and powerlifting and all of that so i don't really expect the majority of you to really understand that but that's why i'm able to that's why i keep doing this every single time i close my camera i feel like there's always something i should have said or i forgot to to say to everybody and to you guys and uh you know i'll never i'll never be perfect in that sense i so that's mainly what i wanted to say is to keep going regardless of what you're doing whether it's lifting or um just fucking anything in life just just keep giving your your all and believe you can do it it sounds so cliche to say moments later you guys are in the next video oh my gosh look at you look at you look at you beautiful people sorry people i'm, I'm all over the place right now i woke up this morning and i i saw that i had a package literally blocking my door i was like fuck dude this is crazy and so i actually should probably hide this because i have my address on <laughs> it but uh, we're about to find out. Okay, so I see this is the first thing that they sent and then it says feed your inner. It says feed your inner. What do you guys think I should put right here? Are we number one in your hearts now? I know we're all about to be number one in your freezer. This box contains all of our best pints, pint flavors and surprise. Since this is about tasting all the possibilities, we've added a couple of our best bars. Feed your inner fat kid. Like Christmas. Oh my. Dude. There are so many fucking ice cream pipes in here. This is insane. Enlighten is killing it, dude. 
chocolate chip cookie dough. Movie night was definitely one of my, my, top, my top picks for. Dude, how many pints do I have in here? Holy shit balls, bro. Yes, I haven't said that in forever. I have not said that in a long time. Guys, right now, let's go ahead and take a, let's give a little toast to Enlightened for being amazing. This is about to be fudging. <laughs> Fudging crazy, dude. Fudging nuts. What's your second channel's name? If you guys want to know my, about my second channel, just go in the description of every single video. You will see. <laughs> I'm like looking at one camera down there and then I have you guys right there. Delicious fudge bar from Enlightened. Let's try this out. <laughs> this can is really good. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I have some serious ASMR in the next video you guys are going to be really, really, really just fucking blown away at. So hopefully you guys are ready for that. The next day. Alrighty, folks. So it is Wednesday. No, it's Thursday. My days are all mixed up. About almost 1 p.m. right now. I just got done doing some stuff for the next video. Made some previews and I'm about to head to the gym right now. I got actually a lot of sleep last night. Um, for some reason, um, well... I should say, usually I wake up and I have to go pee probably about two, three times a night. And I didn't actually have to do that at all last night for the first time in forever. Um, but oddly enough, I woke up extremely tired and I feel very, very tired. But I'm going to go, today I was supposed to go and train legs really, really heavy. Um, but I don't really know if that's going to happen. I'm going to go into the gym and see how I feel. Um, I'm faster right now. I'm not really that hungry. So um, I'm going to go train and then go see my sister before she leaves to go back home and then probably have dinner with them and we'll see what happens. But I'm really, I don't know, I feel extremely tired today, but hopefully when I get under the bar, things will change. So I think it's safe to say that I went into today with absolutely zero expectations and once again I ended up really surpassing those expectations. I'm really, honestly guys, <laughs> I'm actually calmed down now but after I hit that 405 squat, I'm not actually sure how my depth looked but honestly I don't even care. Um, I did not even expect to be able to load up that weight and walk it out until the end of this year and I just hit 405 pounds in my squat I've never actually done this before and it's now starting to really just hit me and then I opened up my phone and I looked at the date and exactly a year ago is the is the time that I actually started to um, to really take my health into my to my own hands and to really kind of rebuild myself after all the damage that I, I did to myself over the past few years that meant um, having to to start on some thyroid medication that meant having to gain some weight actually a, a, a quite a bit of weight that meant me really starting to uh, take weight training seriously to take powerlifting seriously to stop riding my bike 
for four hours a day. That meant doing a lot of things that I wasn't comfortable with. And I've seen my body go through changes at quite drastic changes over the past year, I should say. And honestly, I, I could go on this huge speech and ramble about why I power lift and why it's all so important to me, but it honestly, it doesn't really matter to you guys. What my experiences are, is are, they're only gonna matter to me. And all I can do is kind of tell you guys that this is my journey and this is why I keep doing what I do is because it satisfies me at the end of the day. It makes me feel better about myself and about my life because I truly am passionate about this and if, if something like this um, hitting an arbitrary number can can bring this much uh, fire and passion and satisfaction into my life that's truly all that matters and I can have people question my methods and question my life question what I do um, but honestly it, it really only it, it appeals to me and it matters to me and that's as cliche as it sounds, that really is all that matters. So um, I'm really, really happy and satisfied with the way that I'm, I'm with the direction that I'm taking with my life right now. And um, I've had, you know, a lot of setbacks along the way, but I'm, I'm where I'm at today because I kept going. And that's really, I mean, again, that's all that matters. So hopefully you guys can take something away from these videos other than, you know, me just being weird and, and awkward and <laughs> crazy, but that's, where I'm at at the end of the day. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know down below if you can even see me still. Um, I really have just enjoyed making the second channel and putting out everything for you guys in terms of lifting and whatever else I fucking do. But today's been an awesome day. Be sure to let me know if you guys wanna see anything else down below and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.